Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Brainstormer of the Week. This week in Brainstormer 8 quiz, we try and answer the question that we asked you uh, regarding the strength duration curve of stimulation of a nerve. And the question was regarding stimulation characteristics of a nerve, which of the following statements is correct? And you were supposed to choose the single best answer. Uh, the options were strength duration curve is most influenced by potassium channel properties. Rio base is the slope of strength duration curve. Chronaxi is the minimum of current of infinite duration required to stimulate a nerve. And the Rio base of a sensory nerve is greater than that of a motor nerve. Well, the answer is Rio base is the slope of the strength duration curve. Let's have a closer look at why that might be so. Um, and in order to answer this question, what we need to know uh, is essentially the strength duration curve. Um, and stand duration curve was first proposed or first studied by the neurophysiologist Weiss um, in uh, the year 1901. Um, the strength duration curve essentially measures the excitability of certain tissues in our body. Uh, and there are two uh, tissues which are excitable, one being the nerve resulting in action potentials and the stimulation of muscles resulting in contraction. Uh, so Weiss... Uh, uh, studied the stimulation of a nerve uh, uh, tissues uh, and plotted the graph uh, plotting the strength of the current required to stimulate on the y-axis and the duration of the stimulus uh, on the x-axis as shown here with i denoting the current and d denoting uh, uh, the duration and what he found was the relationship between these two is inverse but linear and so he plotted an uh, a graph like this with the area under the curve uh, denoting the total amount of charge flowing which was a product of the current and the duration um, of the stimulus. What he also realized was uh, the slope of this particular graph is quite important uh, and in fact the slope uh, of the graph helps uh, estimating uh, the Rio base. Rio base comes from a Greek word. Rio means minimum and base means current and hence the Rio base is the minimum current uh, of infinite duration uh, required to stimulate any particular tissue whether it is nerve or it is muscle. But pretty soon uh, people realized that the Weiss model was pretty simplistic and it was essentially a mathematical model and the observations were not correlating with the physiological observations uh, that people were getting uh, and that is because the strength duration curve uh, in the later experiments were found not to be linear. Uh, in 1909 uh, Lapek uh, did um, his uh, uh, you know experiments uh, and in which he plotted again the strength and duration curve um, on the uh, y and the x-axis respectively and he found that the relationship between these two variables essentially was hyperbolic and he found a graph like this um, and in his experiments when he applied a very small current of inf uh, infinite duration uh, you know he was able to stimulate uh, the nerve and that was because uh, there was slow accumulation of the charge in the nerves uh, exceeding uh, the leaky channels um, what he also found was when he doubled this uh, charge he could shorten the duration and at twice the uh, twice the current uh, required to stimulate the nerve um, uh, you know he got this duration which he called chronaxi so essentially rio base is minimal current of infinite duration required to stimulate while chronaxi is the duration of stimulation uh, required to stimulate a nerve at twice the rio base uh, uh, current uh, so he used the equation I is equal to IR um, and a product of uh, IR and 1 plus C upon D whereas IR denotes the Rio base, C denotes the chronaxi and D denotes uh, the duration and if you multiply both sides by D or the duration you find this this equation is not very different from one proposed by Weiss. Um, next what we also need to know uh, is how different things affect the Rio base and chronaxi because ultimately it is these two parameters uh, that help us uh, you know understanding 
what is the optimal way of stimulating a nerve uh, or any excitable tissue. So one of the things that determines Rio Basin Chronaxi is the ion channels and the state of ion channels where the sodium is more important than the potassium because obviously the sodium uh, gradient is larger than the potassium gradient. Second is activity of the sodium potassium ATPase, uh, which recalibrates the membrane. Uh, but if this activity goes down, the intracellular sodium goes up and therefore the transmembrane sodium gradient reduces and this reduces the sensitivity of the nerve and you require a higher current to stimulate the nerve. Uh, the third thing is temperature and the fourth thing uh, is the uh, degree of myelination in nerve and often we find therefore in a demyelination disorders uh, you would have a rightward and an outward shift of the SD curve uh, reducing the sensitivity uh, of the nerves. Also what we all uh, need to know is how Rio base is affected by changes um, in the rest and mem uh, membrane potential of uh, the tissue. Uh, with hyperpolarization, what happens is the Rio base goes up and therefore the, uh, you know, uh, minimal current required to stimulate the nerve uh, goes up and hence the sensitivity of the nerve uh, reduces. On the other side, if depolarizing current is applied, uh, the Rio base goes down and therefore less current is required to stimulate the nerve and the sensitivity of the nerve increases and that is why in a peripheral nerve stimulator you apply uh, the uh, uh, the positive electrode to the patient and negative uh, to the needle therefore causing depolarization of the nerve therefore you require less current to stimulate the nerve. Another thing we need to know is the distinction between uh, sensory and motor fibers in terms of their characteristics. Uh, there is a thing called uh, a strength duration time constant which is longer in sensory nerves and shorter in motor nerves. Rio base is lower in uh, sensory nerves but higher in motor nerves. On the other hand, the chronaxi which is inversely proportional to Rio base uh, is therefore expected to be higher uh, in sensory nerves whereas lower in motor nerves. Uh, and in fact, uh, in A-delta fibers, uh, the chronaxi is 0.150 milliseconds. In unmyelinated C fibers, it is 0.4 milliseconds. Uh, and in A alpha motor fibers, it is 0.05 to 0.1 milliseconds. Uh, so that's uh, basically it, folks. This was uh, the short and sweet podcast about chronaxi and Rio base. I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, then kindly share this. Uh, podcast with your friends. You can do so uh, by sharing this on the Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you can go to our website and subscribe to our website and we will send you a monthly newsletter uh, describing what are the podcasts uh, that we would be churning out uh, in a given month. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Herman Sembi 29 uh, Thank you so much, guys. This was a presentation uh, of regionalfortrainees.com. Tune into learning and see you next week.